Yeah, blah, 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 you know who I am. Okay, let's just cut to the chase. Okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about the Tyson State's John Hyams. He's the son of Peter Hyams, the guy who did um, Time Cup with Van Damme. Um, and he did Universal Soldier Regeneration. And I just got done watching last night's Day of Reckoning, Universal Soldier. I, I, I want to talk about John Hyams because we've been talking a lot of... And this is about the action fans out there, the people who understand action films, the people who grew up with action films in the 80s. I'm talking about Rambo, I'm talking about Cobra, I'm talking about Commando. Okay, I'm talking about um, Raw Deal. Okay, I'm talking about Escape from New York. These are the films I'm talking about. Okay, so I think about this guy, this boy, this guy they call John Hams, this boy called John Hams is he gets it. Day of Reckoning, again, it's not one of the greatest films out there. Okay, it's not that's winning an award, but as a simple, straight to the core action film, it's damn good. As in, his eye for setting up an action set piece, a fight scene, developing um, different stuff that is happening within a fight scene, we can see exactly what is happening. There is no shaky cam. Everything is staged beautifully. I mean, the sequence where there, I think there may be one or two cuts where you see Atkins was ridiculous. Atkins fully go through all of these um, unisols just in one tracking shot was completely amazing. It's, it basically reminded me of um, the scene that Tony Jad did in, in the in the Warrior where he's going up the steps, which is just a one track shot. I mean, this guy's skill for an eye for action is completely amazing. But, and again, with all this rubbish that we see from Expendables, and I mean, no offense to Sly, but let's just be fair here. You're making Expendables 2 PG-13, really? Where Cobra, Rambo, Commander, these are, what's it called, um, Total Recall, Robocop, hardcore 18 rated films. And people need to understand that, rating a film 18, it's not about, oh, will it change the quality of the film? No, but it's about the subject matter. It's about what you're trying to get across. Okay, once, I mean, in this film, once you see a guy's head gets popped open, when you see a guy gets shot, when you see a guy gets his fingers chopped off it affects you you're like whoa you know and i don't know whether this guy used cg blood or not but i just felt like hey no this is serious because in, in expandables one there was there's use of cg blood and it just takes it out of it but he just got it to the core where you felt the violence you felt the threat you felt the the danger and the way he sets up and the fight scenes in this whole thing you really felt like this were fight scenes when he fought off against that man from UFC, when he, when Atkins faced off against my man Dolph, when he faced off against Van, Van Damme, you know, that is what this guy did, you know, um, so the thing about it is that basically, um, <laughs> the reason why I did this video, because I actually even tweeted John Hams as well, I'm just saying that, you know, man, um, and also Roy Ray Jones makes a very nice cameo in there as well, which was very, very nice as well, but, you know. Um, but why did this video, and I tweeted, John Ham, saying, man, I've got to pro promote you. Um, we need to get you making a um, major release out there. I don't know whether that's going to be Expendables 3. I don't know whether that's to, to give him Spawn a whole new action project or to give him, give him Punisher. He needs to make a rated 18 film that comes out in the cinema. You know, obviously get a, a good script, get the screenplay nice and right and well. But this guy is the guy. He is the guy. Anybody who talks about, man, we don't get any proper action films. You know, the people who grew up in action. And that's the sick thing. You don't need a hundred million to make it. Why does Expendables 2 have to be this big, huge budget, this hundred million? million dollar film you know they can give this guy 20 million you make a rated 18 film and you sell this thing you market it as in this is hardcore this is proper and hardcore it's over it's finished it's finished because 
I will bet, I'm saying, producers, you want to make money? You want to make, make money? There are people who have not been to the cinema since 92. Steven says the girl under siege. There are people who have not been to the cinema since the, since the early 90s or the late 80s because they're like, the films I want to watch, they don't get released. So they just watch all the films on DVD because they're people who all they watch are action films. And because people, action films stop sort of being made after the early 90s, that they just don't go to the cinema. They either bootleg the films or they watch it on DVD. There is a fan base out there. You make your film for 20 mil. You market it out to these guys that this is the return of the action film. This is the return of the rated 80 film. And you, make, you bring out that trailer where it's not CG blood, it's real blood, it's real hardcore. Game over. Game over. Game over. So I'm telling you right now, John Hams, he needs to be promoted. You need to watch Regeneration. You need to watch Day of Reckoning because this guy has it. This guy understands what it means to make an action film. Because I mean, I was watching Day of, Day of Reckoning and yes, the script could have been better. The story could have been better, but my lord, man. I'm, I'm, in my opinion, it was a much, it was a hundred times better than an Expendables. For me, Expendables 1 and, yes, Expendables 1, yeah, tell things, but personally, Expendable 1 and 2 were just a waste of time for me. It, for me, it was a complete waste of time. I was like, this is a waste. I mean, I'm sorry, this is a waste, you know. I, at least, Day of Reckoning, I felt like I can understand the story that they're they are saying. Yes, they could have expanded upon the story. There could have been a lot more intricacies in there, but understood what they were saying about this guy, his journey that he's going through, this whole thing with the, with the clones and how this is a much bigger thing that could get even bigger because of what the project is about. So those who have seen the first Unisoul will understand so you really, really get it, you know, so there was something in there that you, know, you can expand upon, but I just think that this, he needs, I mean, we need to bring the action movie back. We need to bring the action movie back, you know, we need to bring that action movie back. And um, I just, I just, I implore everybody, everybody, I mean, and my boy, and if this is limited, aka 20B, he'll vouch for me with their reckoning. That if you are an action movie guy, John Hyams needs to be the guy that you must promote. You have to. So guys, you need to get together. You need to get together and support this man. And whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Twitter, John Hyams, give him the right to make a, a proper cinema official release of a, of a rated 18 action movie geared towards guys. Women, <laughs> they, they, they've had it good. We've not had our thing. Expendables was supposed to be our thing. And just let me, let, let me just finish with, with this. Before Expendables 1 was released, there was so much just hype. Hype, oh, this is so big, this is so good, this is a hype, hype, hype. When it finally came down to it, why didn't Expendables 1 explode with guys like Anne and Bruce Willis in there? Two reasons. The script wasn't up to us to scratch. It just ended up being a joke and tongue in cheek. So that wasn't up to us to scratch. The second thing was. The second thing was CG blood. The violence was stupid because it was CG blood and, and the violence did not really attack you. Yeah, there were a few wild ones, but the, the violence, because you used CG blood, it just did not affect you. Because when you watch something like Day of Reckoning, there were times, as, not once did I, in Expendables 1, did I go, oh damn. Maybe with the whole Daniel thing, with this whole neck thing, but in Day of Reckoning, the amount of times I went, oh, God, oh God damn, what the? Because the violence, the violence was crazy. I, please, I beg you, please, you've got to watch this film. Anybody who's grown up on action films in the 80s, you've got to watch this film because the way this guy does violence in this film, amazing. All that's just needed is just a tighter, better script, you know. You know, it's, it's over, it's finished, it's over. Because I told you, this is the guy. This is the guy. And that's what I'm going to say. John Hyams, promote this man, promote this man, Double H has spoken.